Well, it's been a week and there are major differences in how this tree looks versus a week ago. Uh, every leaf, every lychee leaf that was on that tree is now gone as well as a lot of wood. Uh, it's a, probably a third the size of what it used to be. Now, of course, the tree is still alive and it's going to send out new leaves pretty soon. After they cut this back, they sprayed it with sulfur. Every little inch of the whole, you know, every branch, every trunk, everything. Uh, and that was to kill any possible mites that might have gotten onto the, uh, the actual tree. The, the lychee arenose mite really likes, you know, the leaves, especially tender young leaves. And so that's where the, the whole problem starts. A little blisters on the leaves and, you know, then it, turns into a big problem. Over the course of a year, our, uh, our uh, lychee leaf curl mite has gone from barely noticeable to really, really noticeable. So Department of Plant Industry is uh, funding all of this treatment. Uh, so if you're a homeowner or a grove owner that, and you haven't reported any possible problems to the Department of Plant Industry, uh, definitely do that. We need to get all the trees in the area uh, treated as soon as possible. And if you live in South Florida, there's a very good chance that you could have it on your trees. It could be just barely, very uh, small infection or infestation. Uh, and so look at it. There's 12 counties of Flor in Florida that have gotten this particular problem. And so, uh, you know, be really, if you own a lychee tree, please look at it and report any damage so that the state can come in. They are happy to treat your tree for no cost. So anyway, uh, one thing I'd like to mention is that, you know, of course, not only did this big tree, you know, create a lot of shade and a lot of habitat underneath it, uh, but it was also a place for, you know, creatures to live in and one of the things that I was concerned about was possibly birds nests but I didn't see any birds nests come down uh, but an interesting thing I saw when I was going through the front door was another inhabitant of the tree that happened to get out of that so I thought you might enjoy a little video on that. Right now, we're looking you know, at a very barren tree that has been treated with sulfur. Very soon, new leaves will emerge and they'll come back and spray sulfur again. And they're gonna keep doing that for 60 or 90 days. 
So after 60 or 90 days, this tree will be considered pest free, but we'll keep an eye on it because in case a pest comes in, that particular pest comes in from another tree somewhere, uh, we definitely want to get it treated early. But after this treatment is complete, uh, it'll start growing back. It'll fill out pretty darn quickly. Of course, it won't be the same height, but it will give us a lot of shade. So perhaps by mango season 2021, it'll look sort of normal. Let's go take a look at some of the other trees though. So here's our lychee hedge. And we see a lot more of the neighbors than we have in years. These trees were cut back a little more severely. I requested that they be a little shorter than they were gonna do because in the course of two or three years, they're gonna grow a lot. And so this will be a good height for the long term. Uh, there's something else that's different. This sort of looks like Halloween trees, little ghost trees. And these trees have been painted with exterior white latex paint. It's been diluted so because you don't need a it's not like painting a house or something. It can be uh, just a whitewash. And that's going to protect these stumps from sunburn. Uh, even though it's the fall and, the, you know, fortunately the sun isn't as bright, there's still a little bit of a risk for sunburn. So they've painted all of these trees with this exterior white latex paint. Uh, again, after they uh, painted this and the paint was dry, they came in and sprayed with sulfur. They definitely wanted to make sure that no uh, uh, lychee leaf curl mites were on the, the bark or any part of the tree. So that took care of any possible mites. Same thing here, they're gonna just wait for new leaves to emerge and come back and spray them with sulfur once they emerge. Keep doing that for 60 or 90 days and then these also will be pest free. So here are some of our other lychee trees. Again, I requested that they cut them shorter. Uh, if you are a homeowner and they come in and treat their trees, they want to work with you. They want you to be happy uh, and they will leave it at, you know, eight or ten feet, whatever works for you. Uh, but these are shorter because it's going to be two or three years before they produce fruit and I don't want them to be skyscrapers at that point. So right here is our red ohia tree what's left of it anyway. It is the last of the lychee trees that got treated. And the same thing, you know, got sprayed with sulfur. And it looks like it's ready for Halloween, but it's really a good thing. This is gonna work out very well. It's gonna be a healthy tree in a few years, very uh, hopefully productive. Um, what, one thing I should mention is when they've been doing all this massive cutting, they chip it up and the protocol is to take it to an incinerator. So they're taking all these wonderful wood chips to an incinerator, but it just has to be done. I think that it, they're actually making electricity out of it. Uh, I think it's that particular place that they've been sending it. Uh, so at least some, some good is coming from it. Uh, but lychee aranose mite, it's a, it's a very significant pest definitely pay attention to it. Uh, it seems to only affect lychee and not long end, like there's a long end tree behind it. Uh, it really doesn't seem to affect long ends anywhere, even though they're very closely related. And so that's it right now for you know, the status of our lychee trees. We're going to have more uh, videos on this as the leaves come out and just in general. This is a very major event for the grove. Uh, even though mangoes are 90% of what we grow, well, lychee is the next crop. You know, it's, uh, you know, more than 30 uh, uh, trees, you know, of, of lychee and uh, they have had a significant life event, all of them. <laughs> so anyway, stay tuned and definitely report your lychee, aranose mite, leaf curl mite, whenever, if you suspect it, because it's very important to get it treated soon.